Well, we finished the game the way, you know, I told the guys in the locker room, they're winners, or these coaches are winners, we know how to win. And I think that played a big part into it. You know, we, we got the stops we needed to in the second half, or in the last four minutes, I should say, and then we were able to make plays at the end. Now, that doesn't mean the team that played the best won. Okay, the team that played the best is in the other locker room. They played better than we did and probably deserved to win. We made enough plays at the end to win the game. You missed your first 13 three-pointers. I think, I think you guys hit 21 free throws, though. I mean, what do you... Is that, was that factoring into what you were telling them when they're down 10? Yeah, the bottom line is we were 1 for 16 from 3. So at the half, I think we were 1 for 10, but we were 11 for 18 from the field inside the three-point line. So drive the basketball. But the thing is, we were undisciplined defensively. We weren't in right position. We were out of MIG, which is the most important guy. It's a certain position we have. We were out of our nail position. We were just out of position defensively. And we can't just rely on making shots in order to make up for that. So. I'm excited. I'm beyond excited about the win against a really, really good. That's an NCAA tournament caliber team. But we, now we have 48 hours to probably get more ready for us than our next opponent. How much did not having Jay affect what you just said with the defense? A, a lot. Kind of yeah, not having Jay and Javen yeah. affected a lot. I mean, those two guys are heavy minute guys for us. We rely on him. I, I had to throw half the playbook out when Javen got hurt because he's involved in most of them um, in terms of our quick hitters. And then Jay just really impacts the game defensively. And Jeremy, the, the game went in play. Yep. Uh, is that, he said maybe that's not exactly what you guys had drawn up? It, we put the play in about three days ago. Okay. And Chris McNeil just didn't run it quite correctly. And uh, he runs most plays correctly, but Jeremy still found a way to make a play. So it wasn't done exactly the way we want it, but we still got the right outcome. Do you feel like uh, Jaron received the message that you sent to him by sitting him out the last game? Well, there was no message. There was just the bottom line is we have certain standards we have to meet every day in practice. And when those standards aren't met, we have to. There, there's repercussions, and he had a great week of practice. And uh, so did Trey Scott, and so did Chris McNeil, and some other guys had great weeks of practice. So we continue to have good weeks of practice. We'll become a better executing team. Can uh, Can you talk us through what you saw there on the on the last play, your driving bucket? Oh, the last play actually uh, kind of messed the play up, but I was just like, it went to me last year. Like I, I remember a game last year that I didn't finish, so. It was like my senior year, and I just wanted to finish that play. Like I wasn't losing. How, how'd you kind of mess it up? And how'd you how'd you? Uh, I mean, it was supposed. Uh, and one of our other players was like kind of messed up the play. He was supposed to go another way, but um, it was just like it was the end of the play, and I couldn't change up nothing else. It was either get to the rim or get fouled. Mm -hmm. Was it frustrating? I mean, you guys. I think you missed your first 13 threes. Um, the, sh the shooting wasn't there. I mean, was that a frustrating feeling? Uh, it wasn't frustrating. Uh, it was just more, we just got to have like faith in our shot and everything. Um, we, we went, what, one of 20, I think. I mean, it was a bad shoot night, but we just, we got a good win. But you were able to hit 21 free throws. Was that, were you guys going to the bucket? I mean, was that something that coach was telling you guys you needed, needed to drive like that? And well, I, I knew from looking at the scoreboard that we was in one on ones and we had two fouls, like two free throws we could shoot. So it was take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. How nice was it to be back out there playing, starting, and doing your thing? It was very nice. Uh, I, got, I had a lot of energy and I owed it all to my teammates. Is it tough to see your cousin go out the way he did and with the injury? Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with him, but let's hope for you to get better. Do you think your senior leadership down the line really helped with finishing that game? I think it helped a lot. Um, just being through games for my past years, um, it helped a lot. And to talk to the younger players and you know Trey, Scott, uh, Keith, we've all been through it. What have you learned the past eight days? Um, just being tough, uh, just knowing our defense, just understanding our defense and um, listening to coach, knowing he knows what to do and putting us in the right spots. Did you feel the fan support here today? There's, there's a lot of fans here supporting you guys. The fans are uh, very appreciative. Um, they was really loud for us today and helped us a lot get the win too. It wasn't just us, it was the fans.